Brad, I asked Raphael if he was upset. You guys blew a 23-point lead in the fourth quarter there. How do you feel about that? Um, not really upset about it. Um, we still won the game. That's all that matters. Um, a few calls didn't go away, but we're not complaining about that. Um, you know, I looked around the sideline. I hugged the Raphael, I the Dallas, and a little over time. You know, there wasn't really a doubt in my mind. I mean, everyone was locked in. There wasn't even pouting. So, Did you want a chance to go forward with 33 seconds left? Chance, like, with... Uh, not really. Um, go for it, but throw a pick. If you pick six, that's mm -mm. we're taking a knee. So I'd rather do that. I mean, it's hard to get down the field in 30 seconds. So no need for that. Brad, obviously the offense had a ton of success in the first half. Did they change anything in the second half that, that made it a little bit more difficult uh, for you guys, or did you still get the same looks? No, um, a lot of the same looks. I mean, um, second half, they, they just got to you know a few more of their uh, stunts up front with the D-line and blitzes that you know, we had seen on film. They just hadn't run those in the first half. So I mean, it was all stuff that we saw on film. Um, you know, offense still, we still got a lot of yards and um, you know, a lot of good drives in the second half. How, you, how, how proud are you of your friend Mike and uh, your emotions when that yeah, ball went through the uprights? Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of him. Um, the whole team is happy for him. Um, you know, freshman year when I when I like maybe like a month or two after I met him, he like we always talked about him. He said, you know, one day I'm gonna make a game winning kick against Nebraska. He told me he's like I'm gonna make a game winning kick against Nebraska, and uh, he wanted to do it last year. But um, that didn't happen, but um came true, though. So I guess it manifested. Is he just not like Nebraska? Why did, why do you think he picked Nebraska? No, it was just Nebraska. I mean, it's a big a big matchup. I, I don't know. He just said, I'm going to make a game with the against Nebraska. What? When did he say that? It was like freshman year, summer. Like, I just got here. We all just got here. It was like a few months after we got here. So before the game. Threw a lot of deep balls early. Uh, did that catch uh, Nebraska's defense off guard a little bit, do you think? Um, no, I mean they, they I mean going into the week they, they saw you know, our personnel, they know our personnel, they knew what we're capable of. Um, so not only think it threw them off, um, it's always in our offense, it's always in our arsenal. So if they give us the right coverage, they're gonna take a shot. If they don't, the safety's back there, I'm not throwing it back there. You know what I mean? I'm not getting picked off. So yeah. Rashawn had another uh, incredible game, just talk about, you know, how great it is to see him have that success. Yeah, I mean it's it's awesome. Um, good friend of mine. Um, He's been working hard. His practice habits, you know, him and, and all the receivers, he, he's leading those guys each day in practice. Um, his GPS, you know, his GPS monitor is off the charts every day. He's getting 20 miles per hour, 21 miles, miles per hour each, I mean, every week. He, and it's just consistent. He's a consistent guy. Um, you know, Coach says, I mean, I mean he, he says this in, in, in meetings, got to you know, be, a, be a McDonald's cheeseburger. Because McDonald's cheeseburger is the same. It's, everyone buys it because it's consistent. Um, he's a consistent dude, so it, 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 it's the same thing every time. It's always good, tastes the same way. So be, be a cheeseburger each week. Brad, your thoughts when uh, Corn got that pick there in overtime? You got you had a chance to watch it from the sideline. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, something about that. I just had a feeling someone, someone you know, was going to make a play. Someone was going to get a pick. Um, I knew you know, any of them were capable of it. Um, when I saw that, um, just all, I, I, it just I was just happy. Um, um, you know, obviously we weren't celebrating too much yet because we still had to you know, get down there, run the ball, set, you know, center the ball um, for Badger to come in and make the field goal. Why did you think someone was going to make the play? Because they'd come up with some turnovers early, or what was kind of your thought? I don't know. I just, I just trust my teammates. I trust the defense. You know, if, if they score on them, um, when they come off the field, you know, the offensive guys are there saying, "Hey, we got you, we got you." You know, if um, you know, we don't score in the red zone, or you know, if we go three and out, I always see Dallas and Tracy, Dion, all those guys, Cortell. Anybody, they're always saying, hey guys, we, we got you. I get the ball back for you, so. Brad, you guys were up 23 points in the fourth quarter. While you're going through the end of the game, was it surreal seeing how they were able to move the ball and you guys were having trouble even getting the first down? No, um, just some things didn't go our way. Um, yeah, um, they kept fighting. We all knew that they kept, that they keep fighting. Um, it's a veteran team, um, it's a good team too. We're still playing. We're still out there playing. Um, a few calls that go away, but you can't blame the refs because the refs are human too. Um, it's no biggie. We still got the win. That's all that matters. Great. What does it mean to be three zero at this point in the season? It feels great. We gotta keep going. So um, season doesn't stop here. Just because we're three zero doesn't mean we, um, we haven't accomplished anything yet. Um, we still haven't even started ACC play. We still got Cincinnati next week, and that's that's gonna be our focus is uh, being Cincinnati. We gotta fight one going uh, into that. But um, you know, right now. You know, we're happy about this one, of course. It's a great win. It's great for the program, great for the fans, um, great for all you people. But um, at the same time, you know, we still we still have a lot more football to play, and kind of keep getting better. It's a lot of things to work on. Just keep getting better every day.